Hi guys, so I want to show you how to crochet this high neck coat today. So you can see there's a button right here. You can open and the neck becomes wider or you close it. And it is nice and snug at the neck. The sleeves are roll back, the same uh, ribbing as the neck. And then the bottom is really quite wide. Now, the other one that I'm going to show you uh, will not be as wide at the bottom. It's just uh, literally you have to change it up a tiny little bit right here at the bottom of the pattern. And it will not be so wide. So, uh, this coat is for slightly older children. So, uh, this is a smaller size I have made. This is for one to one and a half year old. Okay. It looks like this. And... The other one I have here, uh, this is for three to four years old, exactly the same, slightly darker color, and I am currently embroidering it. I'm not quite finished yet. <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, the bottom here is not that wide, and like I said, this is just, um, you will be able to choose uh, the pattern right here, which way you do it, if you want it wider, or you want it slightly not so wide. Okay, so if you are interested, let's go and see what we are going to need for this project. So this is the yarn that I'm going to use. It is a run yarn or medium weight 4 in color raspberry. There's about 800, 800 meters in 400 grams like this. And we are going to need a lot of yarn for this coat. So the smaller size that I have made from one to one, uh, from one year to one and a half. I have used it just over 300 grams, so I didn't have all that much left. And the size uh, three to four years old, I have used up about 380 grams, so very close to full skin like this. Okay, if you are making even bigger, you will probably need more yarn, so just make sure you have enough. Uh, so I have this, uh, it is a mix of wool and um, acrylic, it doesn't have to be this yarn, any medium weight yarn will be fine. If you want to use DK yarn, you can do that, it is no problem at all, uh, you're just gonna have a lot more work. Okay, so this is yarn, I have 5mm hook, uh, it matches my yarn. And then we're going to need scissors, we're going to need buttons. I have five, I'll probably only need four of them. They are about two and a half centimeters wide, so about an inch. We need stitch markers, we're going to need at least five of them. Uh, a needle to hide our tails and a measuring tape. So without this, you won't be able to make my coat because I measure everything to make sure that it fits. Uh, sometimes uh, people ask me how many rows you did, how many this or that. It really, you really need to measure it yourself. Even if you're following exactly what I'm doing, um, it just doesn't always work out exactly as mine. So you always, you will have to check the sizing, okay? So you're going to need this definitely. The next thing that we're going to need, so I have this, I have my size chart. So this is it. I'm going to post it on my Facebook page. You're going to uh, find a link in the description box. So these are the sizes. Uh, I do not recommend making it to the smaller sizes just because uh, those children about, so babies for up to a year, they are not exactly sitting up yet or doing a lot. So that high neck will be quite uncomfortable for them, I, th I think. So I would recommend from year up. Okay, so what we are going to need, we are going to need the chest for the finished cardigan. So the here, finished. Then we're going to need yoke. We are going to need back neck to waist, sleeve length, uh, and upper sleeve, just to check. Okay, so if you need, you can pause the video right now and write it down, or you can go onto my Facebook page in the link, and you will find this there. Okay, so once we have everything ready, we can go on and start our coat. Okay, so to start this coat, uh, have your stitch markers, your hook, your yarn, 
ready and your measuring tape. So we're going to start from determining how long our foundation chain should be. Now it is long, it doesn't have uh, the chains in it yet, okay? So as I'm making two to three years old, right here, my uh, foundation chain should be about 37 to 38 centimeters long, okay? So I know the length. Now this is where this chart comes in. I'm gonna crochet the chain. I'm gonna be counting the chains and I will be measuring to figure out how many chains fit into those 37 to 38 centimeters. So these numbers in the very middle of my little chart here is the number of chains. So let's say uh, I need 37 to 38 centimeters. I'll make 42 chains and I'm gonna measure if that is uh, 37 or 38 centimeters. If it's too short, I'm gonna go for the next one. If it's too short, I'm gonna go for the next one. So make yourself a slip knot and start chaining. So I'm going to chain 42 first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I will keep going until I have 42. I chain 42. Now I'm going to measure. So I place my measuring tape at the first chain and I'm going to give it a tiny little pull. So I am about 30 to 31 centimeters. This is too short. I'm going to go for 48 chains. So I have 42. I'm going to add six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to measure this again. And I am about 34 centimeters uh, at this point. This is still too short for me. I'm going to try 54. So I'm going to add another six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm at 54 chains and I need this to be about 37, 38 centimeters long. Again, I'm going to place this and I am about 38 centimeters long with a little pull. So this is just fine. So this is how you find out how many chains you are going to start with. Now, the number of chains have to be very close to that measurement that we looked at in the beginning for the length. Okay, so I have 54 chains and I'm going to start my yoke right now, okay? So I'm going to add one chain. This is this doesn't count as a stitch, okay? So just add one extra chain. Into the second chain from the hook, make a single crochet. And start counting. So this is one. Now for the front part right here, I need seven of them. I have one. I go into the next chain. I make a single crochet. So two. Into the next one. Three. Four. Five. Six and seven. So I have made this part. So the next one is the little one right here in the corner. This is corner. So into the next chain, I'm going to make three single crochets. Have your stitch marker ready. Into the next chain. So one single crochet back in there. I make a second and the third one. So I made three single crochets into that same chain. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my work. I'm not counting that loop that is on the hook. I count two stitches down from the hook. So stitch one and stitch two. And I'm going to mark that second stitch. Okay, so one corner done. We are over the shoulder. So I have 10 single crochets and I start counting from the next chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so you might have a different number, remember, depending on how many chains you had. So after you, we do this part over the shoulder, or it's going to be uh, our sleeve eventually, we have another corner. 
get my other stitch marker into the next chain I make three single crochets one second single crochet into the same chain and the third single crochet into the same chain and again I'm gonna mark my second stitch from the hook first stitch and second stitch I'm gonna mark that then it is the back of the neck so I have 16 for my size so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen so next I have my third corner into the next chain I make three single crochets so one two <clears throat> and three again mark your second stitch so one and two again ten single crochets for the sleeve one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now I'm going to have my fourth corner into the next chain three single crochets one two and three I mark my second stitch one and two and I should have seven single crochets left one two three four five six and seven just like that so you can hear see right here that our first row looks like that just single crochets okay so we're not gonna need this anymore this is again I'm gonna post this on my Facebook and now we are just going to continue now one thing to remember okay so remember how we did the three single crochets uh, in the corners on row one so every row that is an odd number so row one row three five seven nine and so on as many as we are going to need for our yoke are going to have three single crochets in the marked stitch now all those rows that are an even number so row two four six eight ten and so on are only going to have one single crochet in the marked stitch now that is so we don't end up uh, catching up with our measurements too soon as single crochets intend to um, extend everything really quickly but not enough for the yoke height uh, so just trust me on that one okay so row two we are going to chain one we're gonna turn around and we're gonna start with a single crochet right in the very first stitch right under that chain one so I'm not gonna count I'm just going to make single crochets until I get to my stitch marker right here so this is the row where we are just going to make one single crochet in the marked stitch I'm gonna take the stitch marker out I'm gonna make one single crochet in there and that's it I'm gonna look back and mark that very first stitch after uh, under my hook and then I'm gonna keep going with one single crochet into each stitch Now 
The next stitch is marked. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to make one single crochet in there. I'm going to look up and mark that very first stitch. Then again, find the next one and just keep going with single crochets. Again, my marked stitch, take the marker out, make one single crochet and put the marker back into that stitch, the very first one and keep going. Again, take the marker out, one single crochet. Mark the same stitch, the very first one behind the hook, and we're going to finish row two. And I have my very last stitch right here. So this is my last stitch. I make a single crochet like that. Okay, so row three. Row three, we're going to make an increase, increases in the corners again. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to start in the very first stitch under the chain one. And I will keep going. until I get to the stitch marker. I'm going to take the stitch marker out and this is where we increase. So we make three single crochets in that stitch. One, two, and three. Again, we look from the top and mark our second stitch. So stitch one, stitch two. And just keep single crocheting to the next stitch marker. Take that out and three single crochets. One single, two, and th my third single crochet into the same stitch, and I mark second stitch. Stitch one, stitch two, I mark that. And I'm just gonna keep going with single crochets. So uh, we need to finish this row, row three. Remember, our corners get an increase. So those two more stitch markers are going to have three single crochets in them. And I will see you at the end of this row. The end of row three, I have one more stitch left. Make a single crochet. Row four, remember, it is an even number row. So we're going to chain one and we will not do any increases in, in the marked stitches. So we just get ourselves to the stitch marker. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to make one single crochet into that stitch. 
so I'm not increasing. Mark the same stitch and keep going. One double, oh, sorry, one single crochet into each stitch. Gonna take that out, and as I'm not increasing, I'm just making one single crochet and marking my first stitch after behind the hook, like that, and keep going with single crochets. So hopefully uh, now you know what we are going to do. So we just keep doing the same thing over and over again until our yoke will be big enough. Now I will make my yoke uh, first and then I'm going to show you what to measure to know that it is going to be big enough and we are ready to connect. Now uh, please do remember uh, those odd number rows get increases so you get so you make three single crochets in the marked all marked stitches and uh, the even number rows uh, get only one single crochet into the marked stitch. Okay, so I will see you when my yoke is done. So it's going to get wider, longer in every way. And then we measure to know if it is big enough for us. I am finished with my yoke and it looks like this. It took me a little while as it is a bigger size. Okay, so uh, now we are going to measure. The first measurement that needs uh, to be checked is the yoke height. I call it the yoke height or raglan line. This right here. So this is where my measurement chart comes in. And as you can see, it is yoke. And we look up the size uh, for the size that we are making. I have 15 centimeters for my yoke height, okay? So first of all, what we are going to do now, as you can see, it uh, creates a little folds right here, okay, it's from the single crochet. So before you measure, make sure you put those single crochets into place so they find their place so you don't have a fold, okay? And then what we are going to do, we are going to measure from the top to the marker. Now I have 15 centimeters, so if I measure from the very top to the stitch marker, I have 15 centimeters or 14 and a half. Now you can be a little bit under, like a half a centimeter under, that is okay because the next row is going to add us a little bit of that extra length, but I am right on spot. Okay, so this measurement right from one corner to the stitch marker, okay? It's different for each size, so make sure that you get it. Now, the second thing that we need to make sure is that our chest circumference is spot on, and uh, we need to measure if we need to put any chains under. Now, anything, every time I make something with single crochets, I always end up very close with uh, chest circumference uh, already before connecting. I don't know how it works, it just seems that single crochets are stretching out a little bit more than double crochets or uh, other... Uh, stitches. Okay, so this is where the chest for the finished cardigan comes in. So this is this measurement and I look it up for my size It is 60 centimeters. Now as we are going to measure only a half of the chest circumference only the back part We only need a half of that measurement. So I had uh, 60 centimeters I divide that into two and I get 30. So one stitch marker to the other stitch marker in the back I am going to measure so from one to another, I have about 29 and a half. I don't really quite reach that 30. So 29 and a half, I'm missing about a half of a centimeter. So that half of a centimeter is going to me be one chain under each armhole. Now, if you're missing more, which is quite unlikely to be honest, uh, the let's say if I was missing one centimeter, I would just put my measuring tape at, at uh, the very last row and I would see how many stitches fit into that one centimeter. So as it is bigger yarn, so it actually fits 
pretty much one uh, stitch so I would still do one chain underneath the armholes now if you are over the measurement do not worry you still need to do that one chain under the armhole it is very important because we are, we are going to need that uh, one chain or more for the uh, sleeves okay now if you are over what you can do is once you connect the cardigan the yoke you can do uh, decreasing under the armholes okay you can do it uh, one time under each armhole or you can do two two times in the next you know two rows it doesn't matter you will uh, you will get a nice little uh, waist in there okay but if you're spot on like me that's fine we're making one chain like I said we should be quite close to that chest measurement Okay, so remember what we have to add, whatever uh, worked out for you, and get yourself to the first stitch marker and we will be connecting now. Okay, so I have one more stitch before the marker. I'm gonna make a single crochet. I'm gonna take the stitch marker out and make a single crochet there. Then we make those chains as many as we need. I only need one find that next stitch marker make sure it's not twisted and make a single crochet right here I'm gonna take that out don't need that and across the back I'm just going to make single crochets until I get to the next stitch marker Got to the other stitch marker. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna make a single crochet right here. I'm gonna chain one just just because I need one. Now remember, those uh, chains have to be. You have to have the same amount of chains under uh, both arms. Find the next marker. I'm gonna make a single crochet, and I will keep going to the end of this row now from now on all rows are going to um, start and finish exactly the same as we did before uh, so nothing new there so finish off this row and I'm gonna meet you right here under the armhole so I'm gonna go to the end chain one make a single crochet and come back all the way to here I am under the armhole so I have, so this is my last stitch right here. I'm going to make a single crochet. Then I have the chain one. I'm not going to go right under it. I'm going to go into it like this. So I have, so I have one strand from that chain left. This is where I'm going to connect and start my sleeves. And I'm going to go straight into the next stitch. Now, if you had more chains, you need to make a single crochet into each chain and carry on and do exactly the same under the other armhole now one thing for those who will want to do a little bit of decreasing okay so what I suggest you do is finish this row uh, you sort of want, <clears throat> want to have one or two rows it doesn't really matter uh, under the armholes uh, before you start decreasing so uh, when you decrease you need to do it under both armholes in the same row okay so you will decrease by one stitch here and by one stitch here so I'm just going to show you uh, how it's done so for single crochets it is you go into the stitch catch the yarn pull it out you have two loops and then you stop you go into the next stitch catch your yarn pull it out you have three loops yarn over and pull through all three loops that is how you decrease this way uh, you end up with one less stitch when you do that so you want to do that under one armhole and under the other one as many times as you need to do it perhaps it was a uh, very uh, you had way too much for the chest measurement okay for me I don't need to do this okay so for now before we start uh, doing the increases for the bottom part to start uh, getting bigger, uh, we need to get ourselves a, bit, a little bit closer to waist. So this is where my back neck to waist comes in. So this measurement right here, okay? 
So for my size that I'm making, it is, let me see, let me see. So 23 centimeters. Okay, so you might have less if you're making smaller or more for that. So I measure from the top of my shoulder right here and I am at about 17 centimeters at the moment so I need to do another well about another five six now I don't want to go too low with it okay so I'm probably gonna do another five I'm gonna end up with one centimeter higher than what it says on my uh, chart just because these sort of cardigans coats they will be quite heavy because we're going to use a lot of yarn and from the child moving around it is going to stretch down so i don't want my uh bottom part to start too low so i'll rather go one centimeter shorter and then leave it to the to the child to stretch it out a little bit down so i will see you in about five centimeters okay so just go back and forth until you kind of get close to that waistline. And I am about 22 centimeters down, 22 and a half perhaps, a little bit shorter than uh, the actual measurement. Okay, so this is where we are going to do our first row of increases, okay? So this is where it starts blowing up in the bottom. So, very simple. We are not going to count absolutely uh, anything. Well, sort of. A, we're not going to count how many increases we do. We're just going to count how often we do them. Okay. So chain one, make a single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next one. The third single crochet gets two single crochets. So just two single crochets in the same stitch. Next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, two single crochets. So every third stitch gets an increase. One, one, and two in the same stitch. One single, one single, and two single crochets one, one, and two, one, one, and two. This is all there is to this row. Keep doing exactly the same. So one stitch gets one single crochet, the next one gets one, the third one gets two single crochets in the same stitch, all the way to the other side. And I'll meet you right here. Okay, so I have three stitches left. I end up with two single crochets in the third last and then one and one. Now, not everybody is going to finish with the third last stitch with an increase. You might have an increase further. It does not matter. Uh, the most important thing is that the last two stitches have to be single crochets. Even if it falls for you that you have to do an increase here or here, it doesn't matter. Just leave them as single crochets. So our edge is not, um, you know, when you do increases too close to the edge, it, it, it seems to come out like this. So just leave the last two stitches uh, as they are, just single crochets. It does not matter. Single, oh, sorry, uh, chain one and single crochet one single mixing one single crochet into each stitch for the next five rows so no increase one thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to uh mark this row where i did the increase somewhere in the back i'm just gonna put it right here it will be easier for me to count so the next five rows remember uh, all rows start and finish exactly the same get five uh, oh exactly <laughs> sorry the next five rows get one single crochet into each stitch no more increasing 
for the next five rows. So that's why I have uh, the stitch marker. It will be easier for me to count. So one, two, three, four, five. And row number six is going to get some increases again. So uh, I'll see you after five rows. So I have five rows after my increase and I'm going to do increasing again. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn and I will make one single crochet in the next one, one single crochet, one single crochet. So three single crochets in a row, one into each stitch. Okay. And then in the fourth one, I'm going to do two single crochets. So one and two again, one single, one single, one single and two single. This time every fourth stitch gets an increase. So one, two, three, and the fourth gets two single crochets. One, 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 and two single crochets. One, 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 and two single crochets. And this is what we are going to do to the end of this row. Every fourth stitch gets an increase. At the end of this row, I just did my uh, increase right here and I have four stitches left. So I would be one, 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 and two, but I'm not going to do that. Just like in the row before, if you end up uh, by counting to do a increase in one of the two last stitches, don't do it. Just leave them as one single crochet into each. So we don't get that edge looking strange. Okay. So again, I'm going to, um, mark this row because I'm going to have another row of, uh, increase, uh, quite, quite a bit lower down. So we had five rows in between these two increases and I'm going to have nine rows of single crochets, one single crochet into each stitch in between the second and the third uh, increase. Okay, so for those who are making bigger sizes, it is okay. Now, just something really quickly, okay? Uh, just because that last increase is really quite low. So on this smaller cardigan, I think it was this row right here. I can't even see anymore which one. I think it was very low, very close to the edging. Now, listen to this. My sleeve length for this cardigan was 21 centimeters. So I do it for the same, the same way for all cardigans. The sleeve length and where I stop my single crochets is the same length. So if this was about, I think, 21 centimeters in length from the arm armhole to here, 21 centimeters, I do this 21 centimeters long with single crochets and only then I start doing the uh, little pattern on the bottom. Now you see, if you're making a smaller size or you're using a little thicker yarn or bigger hook or you're just, uh, uh, your stitches are a bit looser than mine, you mind end up catching up with this part, catching up with the sleeve length before you get to do that last increase. Uh, so at this point you have two options. Okay. So if you catch up, uh, with those nine rows and you need to finish because you already reached the same length right here as your sleeves are going to be. So you can either completely skip it. Uh, it's not a big deal. You can do that or you can do it a little bit higher. Let's say you can do it seven rows down or something, but I want it to be quite low down uh, because when my cardigan starts uh, lampshading, I call it, you know, it reaches the full capacity of those increases and then it sort of uh, starts going down straight. That's, that's the point where I want to catch it and give it another little boost so it keeps um, increasing nicely, okay? 
Uh, hopefully you understand what I mean. So the sleeve length is as long right here as I'm going to do with the single crochets. Now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to show you again once I'm finished. It's just for those who are doing uh, the smaller sizes or whatever, whichever reasons I, I was talking about, you might not end up doing it right here. But everybody else who's doing bigger sizes and are on point, I will see you after nine rows of single crochets. And I am nine rows down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm going to do one more row of increases, just very few increases, just to keep it up, um, extending a tiny little bit before I start to do the edging on the bottom. So, this time, I'm gonna chain one, okay, you're gonna make 10 single crochets, one into each stitch. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and number 11 gets two single crochets. So, one, and two again 10 single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then Two single crochets in the same stitch and again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and number eleven gets two single crochets in the same stitch. So this is all we are going to do. So as you can see, uh, I made uh, about a quarter of the of the bottom of the cardigan and I only had three uh, increases. So we're not going to have a lot. It's just something to uh, keep it a little bit uh, spreading out again. So I'm going to meet you at the end of this row. And I'm finishing up this row, so I had my last increase uh, right here, and I have so one, two, three, four stitches left. Uh, now it doesn't really matter where you get your last uh, increase, uh, just don't do it in one of the two last stitches, as it will take this part and spread it out a little too much. Uh, now, if you want, you can do it a little bit before that uh, in a uh, having a, a few less stitches in between the increases. But other than that, it is especially important that you don't do it right here. Okay, so I'm done with the increasing for now. Uh, and it looks like this. So you can see, I don't uh, need to uh, mark this row anymore now. Uh, I am going to finish off with the single crochets. I'm going to see how much more I need. I have crocheted one of the sleeves just to show you uh, what I'm going to mean now. Now, I have talked about this. So, the length of my skirt with single crochets is going to be the same length as my sleeve. So, I look up the sleeve length for the age that I'm making. So, 22 centimeters. And it is being measured from the armhole right here. So my sleeve is going to be 22 centimeters and I want the single crochets to end on 22 centimeters as well. So I have about uh, three more centimeters to go, which will be about three rows, about three more rows. And then I'm going to stop and I'm going to do the edging. So that is where I'm going to meet you. And I am done with my length of single crochets. Now I'm going to change into my, um, as you can see, 22 centimeters. So I'm going to change into the pattern now. 
Okay, so remember in the very beginning I said there's two ways to do the very bottom uh, pattern right here, okay? So if you can see this one, it is giving another extra little lift at the bottom, okay? So this is, uh, just remember this, uh, this is when you skip only one stitch in between those little, I'm going to call them little bridges, okay? So the other one was a bit more uh, looking like a lampshade, so it didn't extend anymore. That one I was giving two, uh, I was skipping two stitches uh, after making each bridge. Now I'm going to show it all to you. It's just that you need to decide if you want your skirt to extend a little more, you're going to skip one stitch. If you want it to follow that little uh, line that we have straight down, you're going to keep skipping two stitches. Okay, so I want it uh, to extend more. So I will be skip skipping one. Where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. So it starts the same uh, for everybody. Okay, so we're going to chain one. We're going to turn around. We are going to make a single crochet back into the same stitch. We're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to make a double crochet back into that uh, same stitch where the single crochet is. And this is where we are going to skip. So as I want my uh, cardigan to extend a little more at the bottom, I'm only going to skip one stitch and make a single crochet into the next one. Okay. Now, if you want <clears throat> it uh, to descend so no more increases, so no more increasing. You're going to skip two stitches and single crochet into the next one. Okay, so everything exactly the same. It's just uh, the amount of stitches that you are skipping. Okay, so I'm skipping one, make a single crochet. Then again, I'm going to chain two and make a double crochet back into the same stitch. Again, I'm going to skip one single crochet into the next one, chain two, double crochet into that same stitch, skip one, single crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the same stitch, skip one, single, chain two, double crochet, skip one, single crochet, chain two, and double crochet back into the same stitch. Skip one, single, chain two, double into that same stitch. Skip one, single, and this is all that we are going to do for this row, and this is going to be the repeat row, so I'm going to meet you at the end of this row. So I'm coming uh, to the end of this row and the thing is at the very end we are not exactly sure if we are going to end up correctly or not. I mean what I mean is because we didn't count any stitches we might end up uh, having to skip more or less at the end of the row. Okay so I'm just gonna see what happens to me. Okay, so as you can see, I have three stitches left, okay? Right here. So what I can do is I can chain two, make a double crochet, and just skip two stitches at the very end and make a single crochet into the very last one. So uh, it is a little easier if you are skipping one stitch all over the, all over the first row. Uh, you can just skip two in the end. Now for those who are skipping two everywhere, you might have to go back a little bit and make two or three bridges depending on how many stitches you are missing here uh, with skipping only one so you get some extra uh, stitches at the end. Uh, just the most important thing is that we end up with a single crochet in the very last stitch. Okay, so it's not very hard to alter, it's just you need to skip more or less just to end up with a single crochet right here. You will not be able to see any of this, it's going to get really busy now. Okay, so row two. 
we are going to chain one and this is how all of our rows are going to start now. So we're going to chain one, turn around. You are going to make a single crochet back into that same stitch right here. We're going to chain two, make a double crochet back in there. We are going to skip this whole bridge and find the single crochet in between the two little bridges right here in the in the bottom. You can see this is a single crochet. We make a single crochet, chain two, and double crochet into that same stitch. We're going to skip this whole thing and find the single crochet in between the two bridges. Make a single crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Skip the whole thing, find the single crochet right here. Make a single crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Again, single, chain two, and double. Skip everything, find that single crochet, single, chain two, and double. Skip, single, chain two, and double. This is really not very difficult. Okay, you just really need to look for that single crochet in between the two little bridges there. So, single, chain two, double. And I'm going to see you at the end of this row. And the pa we will be starting to see a little bit of the pattern now. So I am at the end of row two, my single crochet, my last one, my last bridge. And I make the very last stitch right here, a single crochet into the very last stitch. Just a single crochet. And now it is repeat, repeat, and one more time, repeat. So I'm gonna chain one, I'm gonna turn around. And exactly the same again. So single crochet back into the same stitch, into the very first stitch, chain two, double crochet. Skip the bridge, find the single crochet from the previous row. Single crochet, chain two, double crochet. Again, so this is all there is to it. Uh, you just keep uh, making, uh, keep on doing this pattern until you are satisfied with your length. Now, how long to make it? Uh, okay, so it really is up to you. <clears throat> I would recommend to do a minimum of seven centimeters of this pattern at the bottom. I'm gonna do as it is for a um, two to three year old, I'll probably do about eight, perhaps nine centimeters just of this pattern right here. So I will be measuring from here. So it goes down about nine centimeters. You can easily make it longer uh, for the bigger size that I made for the three to four years old. I think I did about 10 centimeters for the smaller size that I have there, another red one, I did about uh, 7 centimeters. So it is really up to you. Uh, when you're making it, just uh, I think you're gonna have the feeling that it's about enough for you. So uh, when you end the row with a single crochet, you're gonna chain one, cut your yarn, and you will be finished. So this is the end of part one. I will come back in part two. I will have this part. Uh, finished. Now I am going to show you uh, how I'm going to um, cut off my yarn right here. But for now, this is it. Uh, in part two, we're going to have uh, some of the harder parts for this coat. We're going to have the edging. We're going to have the high neck collar. And of course, the sleeves. The sleeves are always a bit more difficult to make as they are going in rounds and uh, it's slightly uncomfortable to do. And see exactly what I'm doing but I'll uh, do my best so for now uh, this is it I'm gonna see you in part uh, two in a day or or maybe two days so I'm gonna wish you all the best and bye for now